Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to check fresh release from IBG models. It is made in 172nd scale and it copies Camel Pioneer SV2S. It's a heavy breakdown tractor so before we reviewed artillery tractor now we are checking different version of this truck and it is still in a small scale so it should be interesting to see what is actually supplied in this particular edition. We have here the uh, commercial sample so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you will see in this video review we are going to open it and check what is hidden inside so first of all box size here is typical here you can see comparison with my hand it's not that big well, here we have quite nice box art and then on the side we have some other kits in 172nd scale you can find their video reviews on our youtube channel just type in the name and you will see some and here you can see three marking options which are supplied in this kit but we will check them in assembly manual. So this is a top opening box and here is what we have inside. It's a one and two plastic bags then we have also several plastic bags with add-ons but we are going to start with plastic spruce obviously and because these are sealed plastic bags I am going to use scissors of the camera so just give me a second. I'll cut through it and we will check everything together. In the meantime let me remind you that we have special support button on our website so if you would like to help us even with few dollars it is done via PayPal it should be safe and of course you will decide how much you will send us but all this money will be used for new photo and video equipment or maybe for new kits to be reviewed on this channel. Okay so I opened this plastic bag and first plastic sprue is identical to what we saw in the previous kit so as you can see here we have this uh, nice set of parts for rear wheel axle also for the front cap here we have engine this is a separate bonnet panel here we have wheel arches fuel tank and some parts for the rear section as well. Everything looks really nice. I mean, this is a 172nd scale kit, and still it gives you impressive detailing out of the box. Here we have leaf springs, by the way, and wheel axle, which is molded as a one piece part. And here you can see front cap parts, which feature some pre molded details both inside and outside here you can see what I'm talking about the same applies to the bonnet so if you plan to open it it will be it won't be plain just like on some other models and here you can see we have guiding pins for ease of uh, connecting this house together next we go on with smaller plastic frame here it is let's zoom in a bit now you should be able to see it so here we have various engine parts also some parts for interior for example here you can see seats and what is quite interesting is that these seats will be combined together with PE so it will be quite an interesting build and molding quality here looks fine I mean look at this tiny shovel it is molded in a clean way there is no flash no any other possible molding damage so it's just a matter of careful separation and installing it into the necessary spot and it will be ready to go. Next we go on with two identical frames so I'm going to show them just like this so that you can see both sides. Let's zoom in. So main one of the main advantages of this kit I would say is that we have plastic wheels here instead of vinyl and these parts should be easier to paint and weather and of course they will look better as you can see there is no weight imitation there are six pieces of wheels but I mean with some proper weathering they should look impressive and note here we have rifles which will be placed in the front cap now just give me a second to open another plastic bag because here we have second plastic bag which is sealed and which is specific for this particular version it is not included in the other options or variants of this kit so I need to cut through the plastic bag again okay. ok let's remove this spruce 
So, next plastic sprue comes with another spare wheel. Here you can see it. Also, we have some parts for the rear section. And everything looks fine, so we can move on to the next plastic sprue. And just give me a second. Here it is. So, here as you can guess, we have mostly parts for the rear section and it will be assembled as a combination of separate panels. We also have some uh, here bars which will be used for the mainframe and everything looks fine. I mean the level of pre-molded details is really impressive so I don't have any complaints about this and the only thing required from you is to carefully paint all this stuff and get some weathering on these parts because obviously the factory clean truck would look strange in my opinion. Okay, now I'm opening the next plastic bag, so just give me a sec, okay, we move on. In the next plastic bag we have a tiny PE thread, but this is a 170 second scale kit, so that's why it is tiny. Let's zoom in, now you should be able to see it. So here we have parts for external and internal detailing, and it should be a really useful add-on which comes basically for free, you don't have to pay something extra, you don't have to buy it separately, so that's really cool. Here we come with um, clear transparent film which will be used in order to replicate glasses in the front cap, so be ready for such surprise. And another small thing is decals sheet which comes from TechMod, printing quality looks really good, but as far as you can see uh, there are no decals for the cockpit. For cabin, there are only necessary options or signs for three marking options, and that's pretty much all. So keep it in mind, there are no extras, and you will have to detail front cap with your own hands and tools. And one more bonus is this plastic bag with the um, textile thread. I guess it will be used in order to replicate some uh, lane on the truck. So it's really cool that it comes out of the box. You won't have to search somewhere in order to source it because it is written in assembly manual as a necessary part. That's really cool. So next we go on with assembly manual. This one comes in form of typical IBG models brochure. We have paints chart on the first page. And then we flip over the page here, you can see parts map. We continue with assembly process, so everything starts with the front end. As you can see we assemble fuel tank, engine, radiator grill. Then you start building wheels and wheel axles. Here we continue with mainframe. And that's a really interesting process because you have to combine a lot of parts together. So here you have to be careful with alignment. Because as you can see a lot of separate bars will make it a bit more uh, sophisticated I would say. I wouldn't say it is difficult but be sure to check the alignment of all this stuff together. I guess there should be some solutions which will be uh, giving you easier assembly because of the special um, hooks or something else. Next we continue with PE parts. Note that some PE parts should be bent so it's better to have some PE bender and here as well you can see that we are using PE parts. Next we install engine and fuel tank on the frame, the rear wheel axles go there as well, then we start building the front cap and here you can see that some parts, P parts will be used in order to provide support for seats and that's really unusual because some manufacturers would not even think about it because it's in the front cap, it would be barely visible. But on Scamo front cap has this nice uh, cutouts in the front, so even though doors are pre-molded shut, still there will be something visible through these cutouts, so it's better to spend some time painting and weathering all this stuff. Next we continue with road wheels and wheel arches. Here we start building the rear section and as you can see it is a matter of combining separate panels together as I said before so it's not as difficult as it might look to be. And then you just install it on the mainframe with spare wheel and in total there are 31 steps to do. So in 170 second scale it sounds impressive. Next we go on with two marking options. So this one comes from autumn 1943, here we have January 1944. And one more should be on the last page. Here we have truck from Normandy, June 1944. So three marking options, I guess it should be enough for 172nd scale kit. 
and as I said it should be already available for purchase so if you would like to get one just go to IBG Models website here it is written and order this version or the different one which we reviewed before and of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about this kit so if you have something to say write it here in the comment section below if you like this video and you want to help us press the like button subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye.